So I was very much struggling in art. It got to a point where I nearly quit art because I wasn't doing very well in it. Um, before Portfolio Oomph, I couldn't really do anything properly. Um, it was definitely more of SQA, very much of a guideline. And Portfolio Oomph taught me to break out those guidelines. and It was very helpful. I then decided to contact Julie since... Getting into art college, getting into any art university is way, way harder than everyone thinks. And no one really understands how hard it is unless you go through it. Um, so I was always incredibly stressed about that. And 100%, if I had not done portfolio, I would not have gotten in. Yeah, I decided to contact Julie because I wanted to have the best opportunity to get in instead of doing a foundation course because that would be another year out and I'd rather just get straight into art uni so working with julie was at the beginning very interesting and we did slowly bond um which i very much enjoyed as we got to know each other a bit better and spent more time together over zoom and then got to know each other's rhythms as well um when doing art i got to know her as an artist she got to know me as an artist slash designer and it definitely helped our relationship it's been incredibly fun working with her. She's definitely shown me how to come out of my comfort zone, which I was very, very skeptical of doing, but it worked for the best, basically. I would definitely say finding things most helpful was the mark making that we did because I'd never really done anything like it because before that I had done very, oh, if I get this line wrong, I have to rub it out. Mark making is nothing like that. It's if you get a line wrong, you get it wrong. Tough. Like that's it. Going through the motion of marking things down with a kebab stick and ink or a stick or a rock or a piece of charcoal or dirt or whatever um, was definitely incredibly helpful to me. And it made me completely break out of my comfort zone. So, which I was very happy about. I was very, very happy to find out that I had gotten three offers from all three of my colleges slash unis that I applied for. I applied for one down in Liverpool called Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts, one down in Wales called Royal Welsh College for Music and Drama, and then probably the hardest one to get into was the Royal Conservatory of Scotland in Glasgow. Um, and it was so stressful. <laughs> There's, I think, about 20 people in the whole year and 850 people in the whole school. So it is absolutely tiny. So it's definitely, it was definitely the place for me. So it's definitely been kind of like me leaving the nest in a sort of weird way. Um, I feel a lot more independent when I'm doing my artwork, which I, which I am happy about. I would always constantly ask teachers being like, um, you know, what do I do? What do I do? What do we what do I do? And now I'm a lot more independent about it. I know what I'm doing. I know, okay, this is my idea. How do I go from A to B to C and so on? Um, if I have a problem, I'm naturally very, I'm naturally very capable now of putting that into words, putting that into a plan and then doing it. Um, now uh, that I've finished with Julie, which I am very happy about beforehand, I was not. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's been, it hasn't been, easy but it has been enjoyable if you are really thinking and considering about doing art or design at all at uni in general um i highly 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 recommend this because when i look at the art i was doing two years ago um before i started working with julie it was not very good and i can definitely see a huge huge improvement of my art and so can all my art teachers at school um, and i am happy that i met I managed to do it over lockdown where everyone was at home. Um, and once everything started opening back up, I managed to, you know, come out into the world as a kind of newborn artist.